Thank you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I appreciate that very much. And let me just kind of build on a little bit what Senator Loomis was talking about, because that's the, one of the major, major things I wanted to bring up and talk about. We have uh, a lot of us had serious concerns with the administration's recent announcement that it will repeal and replace the Trump era navigate, navigable waters uh, protection rule. Now, I didn't I, I don't think I heard you say that in those words. What, what would that, what would your position be on that? Senator, again, I've uh, not had the opportunity to review that announcement, but I do know that the administrator has indicated, and again, through the Office of Water, that as they move forward uh, in this particular area, that they are going to engage in that very broad stakeholder approach. And I think that it's important to state that, as I've mentioned to Senator Loomis as well, is that there needs to be that opportunity as another rulemaking process, if in fact that does take place, to ensure that all of the regulated communities are gonna have the opportunity to speak to this. Okay, okay, and I appreciate that. Let me kind of hurry on it a little bit because uh, you're familiar with the, the statement that was made, this specific and significant environmental harm or implementation challenges of the Trump rule. Uh, I, I heard the statement made by more than one, and yet no one was specific as to what that specific and significant environmental harm comprised of. Can you help me with that? And Senator, I, I, what I would say in terms of that statement, I, again, I'm, I'm not part of the administration. I can commit to you, Senator, though, that if confirmed, that I will look very closely uh, and support Administrator Regan in the Office of Water as they move forward in that process. I was not involved in making that particular statement. But I do think, Senator, and I think this is, again, very important, I think it is the interest of Administrator Regan to go through a process that will ultimately end up with a durable rule, a rule that brings certainty. And I think that is something that uh, all of the regulated communities, as well as this committee, is looking forward to. And I'm committed to that process with the ultimate goal of reaching that particular uh, solution. And, and, and I appreciate that, but let me just ask you, are you familiar with any specific and significant environmental harm? And Senator, I'm, I, again, not being, uh, not having uh, crafted that particular language and not having looked at that, I would not comment on that particular statement, but I do look forward, if confirmed, well, to be either briefed on that. Either you are not familiar with, uh, yeah. are you familiar with any uh, of that level of harm? I'm not familiar with any levels of harm. I don't know what that statement oh, is, is, is referring to in terms of specific Senate. That's, that's, that's very good. Uh, Ms. Nishida, first of all, your comments, uh, the, the fact that you are interested in the problems that we have had and the end successes, that success in, with the Quapaws was, uh, uh, was one that I was right in the middle of for a period of about eight years, so I'm very familiar with that, and that was successful. Now, in uh, May, uh, I sent a letter to the president regarding the administration's lack of transparency in developing its new Paris Climate Nationally Determined Contribution Emissions Pledge. And I have not received any uh, response back from that. And now assuming that you are confirmed, which I believe you will be, would you see to it that I do get a response to that request that I made some time ago? Thank you, Senator, for your question with regards to the Paris Agreement. Uh, pres the President Biden has made addressing the climate crisis a priority for the entire administration. So my office will be working with uh, the other offices within EPA uh, and with our colleagues in the State Department and the White House uh, to take a whole government approach to addressing uh, the climate change, including the NDC uh, commitments that sure. we have under the Paris Agreement. Uh, so I, I will. I hate to interrupt you, but the, the only, this question is very specific, and that is, would you see to it that I get a response to the letter and, and request that I made? I don't have the date of this, but it's been some time now. Just getting a response. Uh, Senator, I'm not, uh, not familiar with your letter, but I will certainly work with the appropriate officials in the U.S. government. And then and, would you let me make, know either way once you do that? Uh, Senator, I will, uh, as I mentioned, I will uh, work with the appropriate officials 
uh, to uh, let them know of your concern with regards to your Good. I, I would appreciate that very much. And Ms. Castillo, I thank you. I know I abused your time uh, by going into a lot of the detail, but uh, I'm, I'm so familiar with what you folks do, and I'm so impressed by it. And I will look forward to working with you on a, probably a, more of a regular basis than you would really want right now. I welcome <laughs> right. it, Senator. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Certainly.